welcome to Oman. Uh, I understand this is the first time that the choir has been to the Middle East, or to this part of the Middle East, to yeah. the Gulf. Why did you decide to do the tour in Qatar, the UAE and Oman? Oh, we are just interested also privately in that region and we try to give our girls the opportunity to see a lot from the world and this is a particular culture and very special and very interesting for them and so, so we decided to come to the Middle East mm -hmm. and uh, we made a tour before, Giza and I, just personally to prepare the trip and we have been in Oman and we love this country so much and then we said okay oh, we must come here and uh, also we met Kevin here from the, the headmaster from the school and he said let's do something here and we also did this in UAE at uh, two cities and uh, in, Qatar. in Qatar. And so there we are here, and yeah. that's great. And how have the girls found the experience in this part of the world? Oh, very interesting. So they loved it, of course, of the weather. So, and but not only because of that, also of the the friendliness of the people and the interest on the audience. So that is a really good thing. So. How important is it for the choir to do these international tours and? and be able to share the music with, oh. with youth around the world. Yeah, it's very important to them. It's a part of our choir uh, culture, if you want, like this. And uh, it gives them to, to share what they do, what they prepare, and to give a name to do, to, to practice for. And also to um, the enrichment part of it. Uh, if you listen to other choirs and see how are they doing and how do they perform, what is their culture, that's, uh, it's a lot of it. And it's a very, uh, very, very uh, good thing. Well, we always try to have a, a very bright repertoire anyway. So, so we try to think secular music and popular music. And um, yeah, and, and I look for what kind of <laughs> music might work. And so we, yeah, uh, we developed some songs work very well <laughs> with another very silent character. And, and the girls love to sing this. Pieces. <laughs> now, your repertoire is quite international. It is. So, uh, how important is it for you to expose the the students, the girls, to such a wide variety of music? Well, I think like a, the choir is a has a big variety of characters. <laughs> I mean, forty nine girls, and so a bright repertoire is also good for them because some girls like that song, some girls like that song. So it's yeah, it fits to a group like that mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. How much influence do the girls have when it comes to choosing what to sing and uh, giving suggestions? Of course they can give suggestions, but uh, most ways they only know a song and don't have an arrangement for that or something like that. So I have to look if it's possible to arrange it for girls' choir. And of course I as a choir conductor uh, go to uh, international places to look for inter interesting choir music and so I, I, most of the songs I bring them. But sometimes they have an idea, especially after meetings like this tomorrow morning, the workshop, the choir from here has uh, sung two very interesting songs and now we want to sing this also. Okay. <laughs> so we will take probably two new songs from here to Hamburg.